Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for January 14th, 2021. Well, yesterday we had a little bit of a mix. We had bullishness in the market for sure. We kept pushing around here, but we were largely led by the SPY and the NASDAQ, while the Diamonds and IWM just kind of slipped sideways, a little bit more of consolidation. So what does that mean for this morning? Well, we have a big day of uh, data today that could move us around. So how about we buckle up and let's get ready for the Thursday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. This morning, everyone, we have a little bit of a mixed bag in the futures this morning. We have the, um, the Dow and the S&P looking to move higher this morning. Yet we have the NASDAQ showing a little bit of a flat um, appearance in the futures this morning ahead of jobless claims and ahead of um, a Fed uh, the Fed chairman speech um, later on uh, this today, and we have the anticipation we that intoxicating smell of freshly printed deficit spending that uh, President Biden uh, plans to reveal his stimulus plan today. So interesting things that in all our market moving events, we'll want to kind of stay on our toes and stay focused. Let's take a look at the technicals of the chart. First off in the price action, as you can see, we remained very bullish. And although yesterday, this is yesterday's candle, we were largely just consolidating a little bit of just sliding sideways here, kind of waiting on the kickoff of earnings season um, and just waiting. Um, this morning, as you can see, we've got this bullish candle coming in, trying to push us higher and could actually uh, create a new record high at the open if we continue that morning pump up. Let's also notice that while we have that trend in play, we have a support level right in here. And I've mentioned several times that we have to be a little bit careful here just because the, um, the actual point um, collapse that could occur um, is pretty darn substantial. So we want to make sure that we're staying on our toes here and we're watching this price action closely. If we were to get that selling wave to come in, it could be rather strong and rather painful. So just kind of keep that in mind because our support levels are quite a distance away um, currently. Um, as you can see, um, large point moves are possible. But with the news we have this morning, it is entirely possible with um, the Biden stimulus plan coming out, um, the market could celebrate that in a big way. You just never know. But we, our, our market just absolutely loves deficit spending. Um, and if he comes out with another big stimulus uh, plan, you can expect the market to react to that substantially. Now, I would be surprised if it reacted bearishly to that. Um, so kind of keep that in mind. We could have some big moves. And then, of course, Jerome Powell speaking can can create some big moves in the market. And before the market opens, we have jobless claims. So we have a few things that could stir us around here and create some whipsaws, some um, back and forth. So watch that closely as we progress throughout the morning and through the day. Let's take a look at um, our moving averages on here. You can see our moving averages continue to climb up here. We're getting closer and closer to that 50 day moving average. And I think that's a good sign because that helps us as we rally up here to provide a little bit of price support in the chart. We've been so far separated from that in this wild bullishness that's been going on. Um, and you can see we're pushing up in here to a level of price support that if we were to pull back, that wouldn't be all that damaging. But it is a big point move. So just watch that carefully. If we take a look at the SPY, SPY also very similar to the Dow, just continuing to um, consolidate sideways here a bit, but yesterday it was a little bit, it was one of the inspirations to push us a little bit higher yesterday, had a little bit of levity in there, but overall we're just consolidating this big move up. Keep in mind that we still have significant risk in if a pullback does begin, uh, just it could be painful in the uh, amount of the amount of point drop that could occur. But watch that close. We remain bullish here in the charts. Um, our 
Bigger support is down here, and that would be a painful pullback um, should that occur. So just watch that carefully. Um, let's take a look at the queues. Now the queues did the majority of the lifting yesterday, as you can see, actually putting in a bullish pattern here. This is a bullish morning star pattern right here that would suggest some follow through. Um, but this morning we're not getting that. We're seeing the futures here in the NASDAQ a little bit flat. So keep an eye on that. We're just kind of drifting along here sideways, could be consolidating over here toward trend. So watch that closely. And then if we look at IWM, IWM um, had the, bear, the most bearish of moves yesterday, which wasn't much of a bearish move, but just a little bit of a pullback here yesterday. And you can see we're trying to pop higher this morning on that. So it was really just a little bit of rest. Now, one thing I have to tell you as we're heading into earnings, uh, we're going to start kicking off these big bank earnings today. We're going to have BlackRock this morning and then JP Morgan, Citibank, and... Um, Oh, Wells Fargo is in there. Um, so we've got quite a few of those big banks that are reporting tomorrow. And we have had IWM rallying really, really strong, supported heavily by the rally in um, uh, the financial sector and the oil sector. Now, the curious thing that's going to happen is um, making sure that um, these bank um, reports can actually support these current prices. So um, as we continue to rally up, one of the things I want to point out once again is how parabolic this chart has become. So watch that carefully. What we don't want to see is we don't want to see these earnings, um, earnings come out to disappoint um, and be more of a, uh, it could create that buy the rumor, sell the news event. Um, hopefully that's not the case. Hopefully the banks will find a way to produce really strong earnings here, even though they are suffering significant losses because they can't foreclose and people can't pay their, their uh, mortgages because of um, uh, the pandemic. And so it, it's going to be kind of an interesting situation here for those banks. I, I just really don't know where that's going to come out. Uh, keep in mind, any pullback in here, the, the next support is a fairly significant pullback in IWM, but it's holding up very, very well. And there's no sign here at the moment that it's ready to collapse. Let's take a look at our VIX. Interesting enough, the VIX finally did pull back a little bit more yesterday, but doggone it, we still cannot break down. You would think as we're pushing out to new highs, we'd be setting new lows in the VIX, and we're just not doing it. We're holding up in this little uptrend um, here on the VIX. It's nice to see that we pulled back a little bit, but doggone, we really should be breaking this support level down here as we push out to new record highs, but that's not the case. We're still holding in here above a 20 handle on the VIX. Now, once again, I don't think we're going to have much of a problem here unless we spike above this area and hold. But so far, that doesn't seem to be the case. We're holding below our 50-day moving average here on the VIX. So all is copacetic here. Um, just we should be seeing a lot lower prints. So that just warns us that the volatility could be relatively high. So we have to stay on our toes and watch that pretty closely. Let's take a look at uh, T2122. Whoops. T2122 is the four week new high, new low ratio. And I got to tell you, um, it's been a long, long, long time since I've seen such a relentless bull market here hold us up here this long. Um, but we're pushing back up here um, in that resistance area, that bearish reversal zone. And you can see every time it, you. It, Go back as far as you want. We push up into this area, we expect a pullback in the market. But right now, the bears just don't seem to have any energy whatsoever. We we don't have an unlimited upside potential. Um, eventually, traders run out of money. And even though they're chasing and chasing and chasing very, very expensive stocks, at some point in time, that will begin to die off a little bit. And what we want to watch for as we continue to push up here, and we may push up hard today um, on that stimulus plan being revealed. But watch that closely as we get up there pretty, pretty
pretty darn elevated, um, we open up that door for that uh, selling wave. So if we get a good push up today, it might be a great opportunity to take some profits in the market and be prepared here for that potential of a pullback. Let's uh, take a look at T2101. Unfortunately, yesterday we saw just a little bit of pullback in the market breadth. And, and, and I think that's pretty, you know, um, not a big surprise, I should say, because we largely just consolidated yesterday, um, waiting on earnings to kick off, waiting on um, stimulus plan, all of those kind of things. So watch that carefully. One of the things that does continue to concern me is we can't seem to break out up here. Even though we're pushing new highs, market breadth continues to just lag a little bit, and that is a bit of a concern. Let's take a look at our economic calendar for today. In our economic calendar, we have a couple things that we want to pay attention to. Um, I've mentioned them already several times this morning, and whoops, I just keep picking up that window and that window. I apologize, guys. I have so many screens open all at once to get all my work done in the morning. Um, sometimes that occurs. Take a look right here. As you can see um, this morning, we're going to be getting our jobless claims. Now, jobless claims um, estimate is that they will come in about where they did last time. Uh, no big changes. We'll want to watch that carefully because the jobs numbers, the ADP number and the government number, um, employment situation number showed significant declines in jobs. And the market doesn't care right now as long as we continue to print money. So maybe even if we get a bad number here, it won't matter. So watch that closely um, as that number comes out here before the market open. We also have import export prices. Don't think that'll uh, probably move the market at all. We have the natural gas report, several Fed speakers uh, throughout the day, but the big one here is at 1230 um, p.m. Eastern time, we're going to have uh, Jerome Powell speaking. So kind of keep an eye on that. That could be an interesting um, thing. Every time the Fed speaks, um, you wanna pay attention. So um, don't know that we'll learn anything new, but pay attention to that. And then later on, we have the Fed balance sheet. And again, no one cares. Um, uh, as a matter of fact, is high. Is it, just print more debt. That's all, all that matters. The market loves it. So I don't think anyone cares that the balance sheet uh, is growing um, um, huge, huge deficits. Um, so uh, that doesn't matter. Let's take a look at um, our earnings calendar today. Now on our earnings calendar, uh, we're gonna be officially kicking off that um, first quarter earnings uh, this morning with BlackRock, BLK, reporting this morning. And it looks like this morning so far, we're pushing higher here on that BlackRock report. So getting that anticipation. Now, one thing I would say is these banks, so many of these big banks have moved up very, very strongly. And um, we're gonna need to see some pretty good reports to support those new prices. So watch that closely. Don't be too surprised if, um, after we get these reports, we could see a little bit of selling or profit taking coming into that financial sector. Watch that close. Let's take a look at some of the others that will be reporting today. Delta Airlines um, is reporting uh, today, so we'll want to keep an eye on that. We also have TSM. TSM will be reporting today. This has been chopping up here in a nice upside trend, but just kind of a little bit of a resting period up here. And APHA. These would be the notables that I have put down here for today. Keep in mind that tomorrow we've got Goldman Sachs, JP Morgan, Wells Fargo um, that will be reporting and Citibank as well um, on that list. So keep that in mind. We're going to have a busy day tomorrow of bank reports um, that could really move us around. So um, watch that carefully. We also want to make note on the um, economic calendar. We have uh, one of our bigger days of data as well tomorrow. Um, we've got a PPI, retail sales, and um, Empire State Manufacturing, industrial production, business inventories, and consumer sentiment. All of those have that market moving potential as well. So it could be 
uh, we could experience some volatility over the next couple of couple of days so watch carefully for that let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up but before we do that guys if you could do me a quick favor if this is the first time you've seen these videos if you could click that subscribe button on YouTube and also click that bell icon when it pops up so that you can be notified every time I post one of these videos and if you feel that this video was worthy if it helps you prepare for your day if you could please click that thumbs up button and then also leave a brief comment it helps the channel to continue to grow thank you so much for everyone who takes the time to do that you know it does take a considerable effort to uh, produce a video like this every morning and I, it is so appreciated um, uh, by you folks um, who take the time to do that because it just helps a lot and it um, I, I truly truly appreciate it you guys are awesome so let's take a look at a few stocks that are setting up and remember guys that as I point these stocks out these are not a recommendation to buy or sell any security as a matter of fact um, it is extremely important that you follow your own set of rules do your own due diligence on your trades keep in mind that this may be just watch list um, stocks and something that you would want to uh, maybe pay attention to let's take a look at a couple of those I set some new alerts yesterday on charts um, one of the charts that I was looking at yesterday was PayPal and as you can see I um, I had placed an alert on this chart right through here and um, PayPal performed really really well yesterday perking up I think some of the folks in RWO rightway options took that trade looking very very good trying to push on out of this resistance high keep an eye on this now this still has that possibility that this could just kind of drift over here toward trend but watch that closely as we may extend paypal to the upside looking really nice here in that chart pattern also take a look at qualcomm now qualcomm really nice move i placed an alert here and we uh, popped through that alert yesterday and we're trying to move on higher this morning now we do want to respect the fact that we're pushing up here into this resistance high but qualcomm is looking very good and notice that it is responding right where we would expect it to right off of its trend so keep an eye on that we may see Qualcomm pushing on through to the upside kind of a, a, a different chart I typically don't trade and as a matter of fact I it's just one of my rules I don't trade biotechs uh, because of their volatile nature but take a look at Gilead now Gilead's broken this downtrend here and we had this really strong surge to the upside keep an eye on this stock as this tries to hold some support right in this area we want to watch for that possibility a little bit of rest in here and that could pop on through as you can see what I did is I placed a price alert on that chart right here and if we can get a resting consolidation through here there might be an opportunity uh, for that upside trade now I won't be trading it this would be for the benefit of uh, folks in um, right way options but keep an eye on that uh, pretty interesting chart setup and this is also back above its 50-day moving average in a pattern that we call rounded bottom breakout where we break above that 50 pull back to hold that 50-day moving average whoops I went to a two-day pull back to hold that 50-day moving average and then we would look for that rally up toward the 200-day so watch that closely Gilead looking pretty strong here um, at the moment um, I put an alert on Estee Lauder and Estee Lauder has been struggling here just a little bit notice we, we've kind of pulled back we're bouncing around this level of price support in here but yesterday we responded bullishly to that price support and we may start to perk back up keep an eye on it it may fall out of bed here um, we could drift uh, drift on down and, and throw it way out, way out of contention but if we can rally back above in here then we would have that upside potential keep an eye on it um, um, I've also got my eye here on Allstate it's interesting I'm seeing some of the insurance companies perking up here and um, Allstate looking pretty good here I've placed that price alert we have a nice little upside trend now albeit uh, you have to recognize the fact that there is resistance above keep an eye on that but this is a bullish consolidating pattern here just kind of that nice little rest if we get that inspiration that could certainly pop on through and move on to the upside so keep an eye on Allstate uh, Travelers is also on that list notice that Travelers yesterday 
pop through breaking out of this resistance level right here and is now up here trying to follow through. So any rest or pullback in here that uh, moves us over here toward trend could continue to provide that opportunity for that upside move. So a few of these insurance companies moving to the upside looking pretty good. You might want to take a look at um, the solar industry. Solar has been really, really strong and I had this on um, the chart uh, or in the uh, video yesterday and we're just continuing to rest here but notice this morning we're trying to pick up a little bit of bullishness here as we get closer and closer to the Biden um, um, inauguration um, uh, Solar got the impression that he's going to remove a lot of the restrictions here, uh, make it a lot easier for these solar companies. So keep an eye on that if uh, that can push on through. Something to pay attention to and watch. So there's a few stocks for you to pay attention to. We also keep an eye Keep an eye on um, uh, retail. Um, remarkable uh, moves going on here in retail. We see uh, Dollar General holding up here well in that holding that uh, uh, downtrend as support, finding some price support in here, trying to push on higher Dollar General, Walmart, um, a lot of retail showing some strength here. And it could be, you know, partially those $600 checks went out. Folks are spending that into the economy. So watch that close. So everyone, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. Thanks for watching. And um, always, always, always uh, feel free to share this video out there on any of your social media platforms. You guys are awesome. Thanks for helping um, us continue to go. We're getting close to 17,000 subscribers. So thank you, everyone. I'll see you all right back here, bright and early Friday morning. Take care and have a profitable day.